So the final step on this is I'm going to try and uh, uh, reuse this sliding shelf that came with the original uh, plexiglass. Uh, use it as my dipping holder. I don't know if there's a real word for that. So um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to cut this down to keep the make sure that it still has uh, some strength. I think that if I were to uh, essentially uh, cut off the sides, cut off the sides here, that this seam would be weak. So what I'm going to do is try and keep a little bit of the corner, uh, but as I dip it in, I obviously have to have a hole in the bottom here so that the water doesn't get pushed out over the sides because it's a pretty tight fit, which I like. Um, and, uh, and it being a tight fit means that the slide, that the uh, film won't get caught in front of the uh, uh, slide here and then fall to the bottom. If this doesn't work, the other option I'm exploring is maybe using a couple of coat hangers because they're, they're metal, they're easy to bend, um, and then I can just shape them however I want into a, a, a holding device. But we're going to try this first, see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll go into plan B. So I'm not sure how much you can see of the reflection here, and I'm just on the, the crystal on the plastic. But so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out the bottom here, and I'm going to cut out this. The top of this is flush with the top of the box, so i got to lose this little knob here. I've left a little gap, uh, a little overhang here. Um, I might might have to come up with a, a different way to actually pull it. Give, give, I don't I don't know. I don't want to stick my fingers and get get them wet. So I might I might put uh, a piece of wire or something like that that I I can hook on to there. So we'll just see how how that goes. So I'm going to go to the table stall and I'm just going to start uh, cutting away this plastic. Well, that's one way of doing it. Okay, <clears throat> so some important safety tips. Uh, I'll do the highlight reel in a sec. Uh, one of the things I learned uh, about uh, cut, cutting this on the table saw is, uh, first of all, always wear safety glasses or face protector. I prefer my uh, face shield because it uh, keeps stuff out of my mouth. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't want to scar this pretty face. The other thing is, um, uh, this plastic, unlike sawdust, it throws this, the, these shards everywhere. So it's, you know, feels like fiberglass in me right now. <clears throat> and the other thing that I learned was don't cut like that because, and walk away because what can happen is it falls onto the blade and now you have a brand new cut. 
I was lucky, I think, and I'm just going to make the best of it, but it, it came down and uh, hit that pretty hard. Um, and unintentionally, but I think uh, if I were to do this from the, from the get-go, what I did do was when I was cutting it, the blade wasn't all the way to, to the top, so I had these little, um, these little tabs on there, and with leave, leaving the tabs on there, it gives it the, it retains some of that structural uh, rigidity. So cut flat like that, leave a little tab, and don't do that, because boom, fall. So I think uh, overall it turned out uh, pretty well. So essentially that fits in there nice. Got to pull that up a bit. Um, had a couple of overshoots on the saw. Wasn't paying attention there. Just got a little uh, excited about the design here. But it fits nice and snug. Put the plate in there. And then this goes down like that. Ah, now see the other advantage of having it tilted because if it doesn't tilt, it, the plate will fall, fall forward. Interesting, because when it's in there, the plate can fall forward. So if it's at an angle, see, learn these little tricks as you go along. Alright, so. If this had the chemical in it, put the plate on there, take that in there, boom, like that, and let it sit. So the other thing that I have to do is make sure that this lip clears that so that those don't get in the way. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little nub, a little grip nub on this piece so I can, I can access it. All right. This should be the final step for creating the dunking plate, the, dunk, the plate holder. Uh, what I've done is I've taken some of the scrap, and it, it actually is pretty strong coming from the factory, so I'm, I'm liking that. Uh, I've applied some... Uh, uh, double agent uh, epoxy on there so that should hold um, this this bend right here is from the factory and I, I was torquing it a little bit and it seems to hold pretty well so I figure I'm pretty safe on that the only other thing I did was I just took a uh, a rasp and uh, just deburred the edges so uh, it's a little a little smoother to the touch um, and I'll probably do that around the other edges here but uh, other than that yeah I think this is uh, I think we can call this uh, complete.